Well, Jamie, welcome to Salford City. A beautiful sunny day here this afternoon. What, what's your first impressions of the Peninsula Stadium? It's been lovely. You know, it's been great to get to know, you know, the backroom staff and how hard you all work to, to make this club, you know, what it is today. Um, give us a bit of uh, y your background and how, how have you got to, you know, Salford City today? You no, know, uh, I had a, a year last year without playing, and you know, third choice at Middlesbrough. You know, sometimes stepping up to the bench and. I think I just, you know, love the game of football. I just want to go out there every Saturday and, you know, put performances out there to help the team. And, you know, I miss that part of football. So, you know, it's going to be great to get that back. Because when you look at your your past record and your and your career to to date, there's there's plenty of experience there, isn't there? I mean, you started off at Everton and uh, and lots of happy days at Leighton Orient. Yeah, but you know, a, a good career. You know, I'm, I'm proud of that career and I want to make it better. And, by June in Salford, I am doing that. So uh, you know, it's going to be you know a great season for me and a great season for the team. You know, that's the main thing. Looking back at your, your playing record, not just at Leighton Orient, but at certainly at clubs like Wigan Athletic, for example, there's plenty of clean sheets in there, isn't there? Versus how many games you played, it's a it's a decent ratio. Yeah, you know, it's it's part and parcel of being a good team. You know, when I'm the goalkeeper, that can do that behind them. You know, it, it starts up at the top. We all know that, and defending as a team and. You know, I'm the last line of defence and you know, if I'm doing my job, you know, them clean sheets will keep coming. I mentioned Wigan there, it would be remiss of me not to mention uh, the promotion season out, out of League One a few years back. I mean, how, how was that? The it was amazing. That team? Yeah, it was, a, it was a great season, you know, we, were, you know, we were, would have been up there, you know, we fancied ourselves and, um, you know, we, we showed good team resilience throughout the season to go, you know, away from home, pick up results and do the same at home. Um, you know, I can bring that experience into this squad. Uh, that's what I'm here to do, as well as you know, play minutes on the pitch, and you know, we'll help this this club, you know, be up there this season. Going back to that point you made a second or two ago about you know the the clean sheets and you being the last line of defence. Um, just mentioning the squad, I think I think you'll know a couple of players. You certainly know Curtis Till. How handy is that knowing a couple of the players and, and getting that relationship early? Yeah, it's it's. You know, it's key, you know, it sometimes doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's nice. You know, it's never nice going into a new environment where you don't know anyone. Um, but knowing a few faces is always good. You know, I, I'm a bubbly character, I get on with everyone and, you know, we'll, we'll have a, a good hard working group uh, and, and, and it'll, you know, bode well to pick the results up. I was going to ask you about the, um, what, what should supporters expect of you? I mean, what type of goalkeeper are you? The, the Schmeichel type or uh, keep quiet? I mean, what, what, what should we, no, what should I, we know? <laughs> <laughs> I do like talking, but I'm not a, a shouter and a, and a screamer. You know, I like to think I always see the best goalkeepers as being the calmest goalkeepers. You know, you'll, you'll get a calmness from me. You know, that will settle the defence in need be of, of hectic moments. You know, last minute. Um, you know, defending last minute games and things like that, you know, I try and bring that calmness and try and help, you know, the lads allow me to stay calm and stay composed. Um, your experience, we've, we've mentioned, you know, some of the clubs you played at, you know, Championship and League One, you do have some League Two experience, don't you, with Stevenage uh, a few years back, but, um, I mean, what are you expecting with regards to the challenge of, of League Two this season? It's something that I've, I've played in, I've, you know, I think I've played 60 odd games in the league and, you know, it's a great league and, you know, this football club uh, is at a you know, standstill at the moment with, in this division. You know, I'm here to help change that. Um, you know, I think that ambition and the, the progression of the club is to keep going high. You know, and, and the signings we've made already, you know, this window has proven that. Um, you know, I'm ambitious and another club definitely is. So, you know, it's, it's so appealing to, to come here and, and join at such an exciting time. Was that the major draw? I mean, coming down to Salford City, was, was that the, the, the big pull, the, the ambition of the club? It's, it's always good to join an ambitious club, you know, being a club that wasn't so ambitious. Um, and sometimes it's a bit, you know, lacks daisy in that. But I, I know for a fact we're not going to get that at this football club. You know, me as a player, you know, we'll draft people on, you know, the owners and, and the manager will do the exact same. So, uh, you know, I'm sure the fans will get behind us and, and we'll help us, you know, strive up the league. And how eager are you to, uh, I mentioned those relationships you've already got with, with the likes of Curtis Till, but how eager are you to, to get on the training ground and, mm -hmm. and meet the rest of the defence and, and the team? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be key, isn't it? You know, we're going to have to build up this, uh, you know, solid unit, uh, unity. 
in the defensive department, but also with the midfield and the strikers as well. You know, it's it's a team game, not not no individuals in this uh, in this sport. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you know all the lads, and you know, hopefully, you know, we're going to kick right on. And, and last question, Jamie. Um, you know, you mentioned your aspirations for this season, but how much are you looking forward to that first game, uh, proper game against Port Vale, and and what's possible at the Peninsula Stadium this season? No, we, you know, really excited for the first game. It's always an exciting time when you know that comes about. But regarding you know the stadium, we, we mean to make this place our own home. You know, when people turn up here, you know they're in for a you know a tough game, and you know we're going to provide that for the fans.